understanding allergies. As a young child, Emily always had a strange reaction to certain foods. Whenever she ate something with nuts or shellfish, her body would react in an unusual way. Her face would swell up, she would break out in hives, and sometimes even experience breathing difficulties. It wasn't until she was older that she finally understood what was happening to her body. Emily's immune system was reacting to these substances as if they were harmful. Normally, the immune system will create an immune response against harmful substances like bacteria or viruses, but with allergies, the immune system is mistakenly responding to harmless substances. Emily had developed an allergy to nuts and shellfish, two very common and harmless foods. When her body came into contact with those substances, it would trigger a complex immune response that caused her body to react in such a dramatic way. As she grew older, Emily learned to avoid these substances altogether to keep her allergies at bay. She also learned more about how the immune response works and why it can be so detrimental in cases of allergy. It turns out that allergies are a result of a miscommunication in the body. When the immune system encounters a harmless substance like nuts or shellfish, it mistakes it for a dangerous invader and launches a complex immune response. This response includes the release of histamine, which can cause inflammation and irritation in different parts of the body. For Emily, this meant her face, throat, and skin would become swollen and irritated. She would experience itching, pain, and difficulty breathing. It was a scary experience and one that had no easy answers. She tried taking antihistamines to quell the immune response, but it only provided temporary relief. The only real solution was to avoid the substances that caused the allergic reaction altogether. But what was it about nuts and shellfish that caused such a severe immune response in Emily's body? It turns out that the proteins in these foods resemble proteins that can be found in certain bacteria or parasites. This is why the immune system is mistakenly responding to these foods as if they are a dangerous invader. Emily's experience taught her just how complex and delicate the immune system is. It's a system that has evolved to protect us from harm, but that can sometimes fall prey to miscommunication and misinterpretation. As she continued to learn more about allergies and the immune response, through research and consultation with medical professionals, she realized that there was still much to be understood about how our bodies work. Understanding the immune response and how it relates to allergies is a crucial first step in preventing and treating these conditions. Armed with this knowledge, Emily was able to manage her allergies more effectively and avoid the potentially life-threatening consequences that can accompany severe allergic reactions. In the end, her experience taught her that sometimes the most innocuous of substances can cause the most extreme reactions in our bodies. It's up to us to understand and respect the intricacies of our immune systems and to take steps to protect ourselves when necessary. Question, what is an allergy? Types of allergies. As soon as Emily sat down to enjoy her plate of spaghetti at her favorite Italian restaurant, something felt off. Within minutes, her lips and mouth started to tingle and her throat became itchy. Emily knew immediately she was experiencing a food allergy. Food allergies are becoming more and more common. Approximately 32 million Americans have food allergies including dairy, eggs, peanuts, shellfish, and soy. Symptoms can range from mild itching to severe anaphylaxis. In Emily's case, she had only mild symptoms, but she knew it was time to visit an allergist to get a proper diagnosis. The allergist confirmed that Emily had a food allergy, and he also tested her for other types of allergies. She was surprised to find out that she had developed seasonal allergies, which resulted in her sneezing, wheezing, and a runny nose every spring. This discovery was the beginning of a journey that would change her daily life. Seasonal allergies, 
also known as hay fever, affect millions of people in the United States every year. Common symptoms include itchy eyes, runny nose, and sneezing. Triggers can include pollen, grass, and ratweed. To manage her seasonal allergies, Emily started taking allergy medicine and avoided outdoor activities during peak pollen count. But Emily's journey of discovering her allergies was not over yet. She also discovered that she had skin allergies. Every time she wore a certain brand of detergent or used a particular type of soap, she broke out in hives. Skin allergies can be caused by a range of irritants, including fragrances, metals, and latex. In Emily S. case, she knew she needed to avoid certain products and use hypoallergenic alternatives. Last but not least, Emily also discovered that she had a drug allergy. During a routine checkup, she was prescribed an antibiotic for a sinus infection. Within minutes of taking the medication, her face became red and swollen, and she broke out in hives. Her doctor confirmed that she was allergic to the medication and needed to avoid it in the future. Drug allergies can be very dangerous and, in some cases, they can lead to anaphylaxis. It is important for everyone to know their allergies and to inform their doctors and caregivers of their allergies before they are given any medication or treatment. Emily S. journey of discovering her allergies was not easy, but it was necessary. By becoming aware of her allergies and how to manage them, she was able to live a healthier, happier life. She learned that food allergies, seasonal allergies, skin allergies, and drug allergies are all part of a spectrum of allergies that can affect anyone. By working with her doctors and taking the necessary precautions, she was able to avoid the worst of her symptoms and live a full life. Question, what are the different types of allergies? Symptoms of allergies. As soon as she stepped off the plane, her allergies started to flare up. The itching in her nose, the constant sneezing, and the runny nose made it hard for her to even focus on the beautiful scenery around her. The golden hour light of the setting sun made the trees and shrubs glow, but her watery eyes made everything look blurry and out of focus. She had packed an arsenal of allergy medication, but it seemed like the pollen in this new place was too much for even the strongest antihistamines. Rashes started to appear on her arms and legs, making her feel even more uncomfortable in her own skin. She was staying in a small bed and breakfast tucked away in the hills, far from any pharmacies or convenience stores. Panic started to set in as she realized she might have to spend the rest of her vacation holed up in her room, suffering in silence. But then she met the innkeeper, a kind woman who seemed to have a solution for every problem. With a smile, she handed over a small jar of salve and told the woman to rub it onto her rashes every few hours. And sure enough, the itching started to subside and the rashes began to fade. The innkeeper also brewed her special tea, packed with local herbs and spices that were perfect for soothing her irritated sinuses. It was a warm, comforting drink that seemed to work wonders, calming her sneezing and lessening the watery eyes. With these newfound remedies, she was able to venture out into the world beyond the bed and breakfast. She explored rustic towns, rolling hills, and even got lost in the beauty of the wild forests. She saw the most spectacular sunsets again and again, each one more beautiful than the previous. But with every adventure came a new set of allergies. The dust on an old bookshelf made her sneeze so hard she thought her head would explode. The pollen from a field of wild flowers made her rashes itch and spread like wildfire. But she didn't want to waste her vacation on misery. She wanted to experience everything this new place had to offer. Allergies be damned. So she kept the jar of salve and the tea with her at all times, using them whenever her symptoms started to flare up. Slowly but surely, the symptoms of her allergies started to lessen. 
the itching became bearable, the sneezing less frequent, and the rashes started to disappear altogether. She was still allergic to everything and anything in the new place, but now she had the tools to handle it. It wasn't the perfect vacation far from it. But she learned so much about herself, about perseverance and determination. She learned that even when the world seemed to be against her, there were still kind strangers with magic remedies. She learned that, even in the face of adversity, she could still find joy and beauty in the world around her. And most importantly, she learned that it's always worth it to push through the discomfort and experience everything life has to offer. Question, what are the common symptoms of allergies? Diagnosis of allergies. As Rebecca sat nervously in the doctor's office, the thought of a potential diagnosis of allergies weighed heavily on her mind. She had been experiencing various symptoms and was eager to get to the root of the problem. The doctor suggested a few different options for testing, including skin testing, blood testing, or potentially trying an elimination diet. Rebecca had heard of skin testing before and was hesitant to try it. Just the idea of having multiple needles pricked into her skin made her feel uneasy. However, the doctor assured her that it was a common and effective method of determining what allergies a patient may have. In a matter of minutes, Rebecca was lying on an examination table as the medical professional began placing different allergens on her skin. As each spot was pricked, Rebecca felt a small sting but tried to remain calm. After all the allergens had been applied, Rebecca anxiously awaited the results. Within minutes, her skin had reacted and indicated that she was indeed allergic to several different substances. The blood test was next on the list for Rebecca to try. This method was less invasive, but still provided valuable information for the doctor. The process involved a small blood sample being taken from Rebecca and sent to a lab for analysis. While less uncomfortable than the skin test, the results could take a bit longer to come back. With two tests down, the doctor discussed the option of an elimination diet. The idea was to remove certain foods from Rebecca's diet to see if her symptoms improved. This would give an indication of potential food allergies that had not shown up in previous tests. The process of eliminating foods and reintroducing them can be time-consuming, but it can also be a helpful method of diagnosing allergies. Rebecca left the doctor's office feeling a bit overwhelmed, but also relieved to have some answers. In the weeks to come, she would begin the process of eliminating certain foods, keeping a careful log of what she ate and how she felt afterward. It was tedious work, but Rebecca remained focused on finding a solution. Over time, she began to notice patterns and realize which foods caused her the most trouble. Not only did she gain insight into her allergies, but she also developed healthier eating habits along the way. No longer was she eating fast food or empty calories, but instead, she was filling her body with nutritious foods that made her feel better overall. Rebecca continued to work closely with her doctor, trying different treatments and medications to manage her allergies. Some days were more challenging than others, but Rebecca remained determined to take control of her allergies and not let them control her life. In the end, the diagnosis of her allergies proved to be a life-changing experience for Rebecca. Not only did she learn more about her body and how to manage her symptoms, but she also gained a greater appreciation for her health and the importance of nutrition. While the journey wasn't easy, Rebecca was grateful for the knowledge gained and the newfound sense of control over her health. Question, how are allergies diagnosed? Treatment of allergies it was a warm summer day and Emily was feeling uneasy. She always suffered from allergies during this time of the year. It was the season of pollen and Emily always had to be extra careful. She began to notice the sneezing fits that came on suddenly, the itchy eyes that wouldn't stop tearing and the constant headache. She knew she had to take action. 
Emily went to the local pharmacy and explained her symptoms to the pharmacist. The pharmacist quickly recommended an over-the-counter antihistamine. He explained that antihistamines work to block the body's release of histamine, which causes the allergic reaction. Emily started taking the tablets, and she was amazed at the quick relief she experienced. She was no longer sneezing or experiencing itchy eyes. However, the headache still persisted. The pharmacist explained that antihistamines may not always be enough to completely alleviate all allergy symptoms. He suggested Emily try a nasal spray. He explained that these sprays target the nasal passages which are usually the first to react to allergens. The nasal sprays work to reduce inflammation in the nasal passages, which in turn alleviates other symptoms associated with allergies. The nasal spray worked wonders for Emily. She felt her headache subside within minutes. Emily thought that was the end of her allergies for the day. She continued with her day as usual and soon found herself having trouble with her eyes tearing up again. Emily rushed back to the pharmacy, and this time the pharmacist recommended eye drops to alleviate her eye symptoms. The eye drops did their magic, and she immediately felt relief from the itchy, swollen eyes. Emily was grateful for the pharmacist's recommendations. But... She knew that her allergies could come back any time. So, she asked about more long-term solutions. The pharmacist mentioned allergy shots. These shots could help reduce the severity of allergy symptoms over time by getting the body used to the allergen. Emily was intrigued by the idea of getting long-term relief, but she wasn't sure if she could undergo the process of getting shots. The pharmacist explained that allergy shots were a safe and effective option for those suffering from severe allergies. The process starts with getting tested for allergens to identify the ones causing the allergies. Then, a doctor creates a specific treatment plan and injections are given on a regular basis. As Emily left the pharmacy, she couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by all the options available to treat allergies. With antihistamines, nasal sprays, eye drops, and allergy shots, it was apparent that there were many treatment options available to alleviate allergy symptoms. She vowed to take good care of herself during the allergy season and to always carry her allergy medication with her. Emily knew what to do to keep her allergies under control. Question, what are the common treatments for allergies? Prevention of allergies. As a child, Emma always struggled with allergies. Her parents learned the hard way how to manage her allergies in order to prevent the embarrassing mishaps that often occurred when they failed. By the time Emma was old enough to manage her allergies herself, she had a pretty good idea of what to avoid and how to protect herself. For years, Emma didn't have any major allergic reactions. However, one summer day, she went to a friend's house and ate a few bites of a sandwich without realizing it had peanut butter in it. Minutes later, her throat began to swell and she had trouble breathing. Her friend's mother quickly recognized the signs of an allergic reaction and administered Emma's medication before it was too late. After this near-death experience, Emma began taking even more preventative measures to avoid allergens. She started carrying her medication with her everywhere she went, even to places where she didn't think she would encounter her allergens. She also began reading labels more closely, something she thought she was already diligent about, and started buying more organic foods in order to guarantee that they were free of any allergens. One day, Emma learned about a support group for people with allergies, and she decided to attend a meeting. There, she met other people who were dealing with similar issues and was surprised to learn about some additional preventative measures she could take. One person in the group suggested carrying allergy-friendly snacks whenever she left the house so that she would always have options if she couldn't find anything safe to eat. Another person suggested she wear a medical ID bracelet or carry a card indicating her allergies in case 
she was unable to communicate them in an emergency situation. Emma took these suggestions to heart and began incorporating them into her daily life. She quickly noticed a difference in her overall health and well-being as she was no longer constantly anxious about having an allergic reaction. As time went on, Emma became an advocate for allergy prevention. She started volunteering with her local allergy support group and even helped organize an annual event to raise awareness and funds for allergy research. Through these initiatives, Emma hoped to help others learn how to manage their allergies effectively so that they too could live without fear of allergic reactions. Years later, Emma had a son who also struggled with allergies. She passed on all the preventative measures she had learned over the years, and even taught him a few new tricks she had picked up along the way. Together, they were able to navigate the world of allergens with ease, and never let their allergies hold them back. Emma often thought about the frightening experience she had years ago, and how it had been the catalyst for all the positive changes in her life. She was grateful for the support she had received over the years, and was committed to providing that same support to others who were dealing with allergies. Through her advocacy work, Emma hoped to make the world a safer and more understanding place for people with allergies. Question. Can allergies be prevented? Managing food allergies. Managing the daily life of a child with food allergies can be a difficult task. For Melissa, this was her daily reality since her five-year-old daughter was diagnosed with a severe peanut allergy. The task of keeping her daughter away from her allergen was her top priority, but it was not an easy one. Every time Melissa went grocery shopping, she spent hours reading labels to ensure that the food she was getting for her daughter was safe. It felt like an endless task, but it was necessary to keep her daughter healthy. As a mother, she couldn't afford to take any risks when it came to her daughter's health. Cross-contamination was another issue that Melissa had to be very careful about. Every time her daughter ate food prepared outside of their home, she had to ensure that there was no chance of cross-contamination. This meant not just avoiding peanuts, but also checking if the food was made in an environment that was free of peanuts. One evening, while at a birthday party, Melissa's daughter accidentally ate a piece of cake that contained peanuts. Her daughter immediately started to feel uneasy, and her eyes started to swell. Melissa knew that this was an allergic reaction and immediately used the epinephrine auto-injector that she always carried with her. This quick thinking saved her daughter from severe harm. After her daughter's incident at the birthday party, Melissa realized there was a need for more awareness about food allergies, especially in public places. She reached out to the local community and started conducting workshops to educate people about the dangers of food allergies and the importance of reading labels and preventing cross-contamination. The workshops were an instant success, and Melissa started receiving positive feedback from parents who were able to keep their children safe by being more informed. Melissa realized that food allergies were a topic that many people were not aware of, and it was her mission to spread awareness about it. Melissa's efforts did not go unnoticed as the local government recognized her work and invited her to conduct workshops at schools and community centers. Melissa was thrilled with the opportunity, and she made use of every chance she had to educate people about food allergies. Through her workshops, Melissa was able to inspire other parents to become advocates for their children's safety. She became a beacon of hope for parents of children with food allergies, showing them that with proper education and awareness, they could keep their children safe and healthy. It wasn't an easy journey for Melissa, but she knew that every step she took, every workshop she conducted, would make a difference in someone's life. She continued to devote her time and energy to spreading awareness until eventually she made such an impact that she was recognized by the national government as a pioneer in food allergy management. 
Melissa's journey was not just about her daughter's safety, but about the safety of thousands of other children with food allergies. Her efforts not only helped keep children safe from harm, but also brought awareness to the issue of food allergies, making it a topic that could no longer be ignored. Question, how can food allergies be managed? Living with allergies. Living with allergies, in today's society, having a food allergy can feel like an abnormality. Those with allergies can face social stigma as others perceive their dietary restrictions as a fad or merely an inconvenience. But for many people, living with allergies is an everyday struggle that requires careful management to prevent exposure. Sarah had dealt with this issue for most of her life. As a child, she was diagnosed with multiple food allergies, including shellfish, nuts, and dairy. Her life changed dramatically as she could no longer enjoy the same kinds of food as her friends. She needed to carry medication with her at all times in case of an accidental exposure, and she also learned to read ingredient labels on foods carefully. One of the biggest struggles Sarah faced was the fear of exposure. She knew that a simple mistake could lead to severe consequences. Going out to eat, attending social events, or even grocery shopping could be extremely challenging. She had to be cautious about every meal she ate, as well as the ones that others prepared for her. Despite her allergy to nuts, Sarah loved going to parties and was particularly fond of the delicious cakes she found there. However, she was always hesitant to try one as she wasn't confident of the ingredients used. Many times she left a party without eating anything, which created an awkward and uncomfortable situation for her. Sarah's parents tried to simplify the school lunch process for her. They packed her lunch every day, but sometimes she felt left out when her friends got to choose food from the cafeteria. Inevitably, there were times when the teachers would distribute treats in class that Sarah couldn't have, which made her feel isolated and different. Over time, though, Sarah learned to speak up for herself, and her parents taught her to advocate confidently for her needs. She started telling her friends and family about her allergies and the precautions she needed to take to stay safe. Her parents also talked to her teachers about her situation, which prevented any accidental exposure. Sarah's circle of friends soon came to understand the gravity of her situation and started making conscious efforts to accommodate her. They would check with her before planning parties, plan menus that Sarah could eat, and even try non-dairy alternatives for her that everyone else ended up enjoying too. Living with allergies will always come with challenges, but Sarah realized that she could mitigate the social stigma and fear of exposure that came with having allergies by being open and honest about her situation. She understood that it wasn't just her problem, but something that everyone had to deal with as a community. And it was only through this community that she could live her life without letting her allergies define her. Question, what are the challenges of living with allergies? Allergies and children. As the mother of three young children, Sophia was all too familiar with the challenges of allergies. Her oldest son had struggled with severe food allergies from birth while her youngest daughter had only recently been diagnosed with asthma triggered by seasonal allergies. Sophia had learned the hard way that allergies could manifest differently in each child and that treatments and management techniques needed to be tailored to each child's needs. Despite her best efforts to keep her children's allergies under control, Sophia was still plagued by worries and uncertainty. She often found herself wondering when her children would outgrow their allergies or whether new allergies might develop later on. The constant monitoring and vigilant care required to keep her children healthy was exhausting, both physically and emotionally. One afternoon, while picking her children up from school, Sophia noticed that her daughter seemed more tired than usual. She asked if everything was okay, and her daughter explained that she had been feeling short of breath and coughing all day at school. 
Sophia immediately recognized these as symptoms of her daughter's asthma, and wondered if her daughter's allergies had recently worsened. Sophia took her daughter to the pediatrician the next day, and was relieved to hear that her daughter's asthma was well controlled, but that they needed to adjust her medication to manage her symptoms more effectively. The doctor reassured Sophia that allergies could develop or worsen at any time, and that it was important to stay vigilant and responsive to her children's changing health needs. Sophia was grateful for the doctor's advice, but the experience left her feeling more anxious than ever. She began to wonder if she was doing enough to protect her children from the risks of allergies, and whether there was more she could do to build their resilience and immune systems. Sophia started to do her own research on the subject, talking to experts and reading up on the latest scientific findings. She found that while there was no surefire way to prevent children from developing allergies, there were many steps parents could take to minimize their risks and build their immune systems. These included everything from breastfeeding and avoiding exposure to allergens during pregnancy, to introducing a variety of foods and supplements into a child's diet. Sophia began to incorporate these strategies into her children's lifestyle, making small changes to their daily routine and diet to promote their overall health and well-being. She also reached out to other parents and community groups, sharing her own experiences and learning from others in the same boat. Over time, Sophia began to see positive results. Her children seemed more robust and resilient, less prone to colds and infections, and better able to manage their allergies and asthma. Sophia felt proud of the progress she had made, and grateful for the support and resources that had helped her along the way. As Sophia reflected on her journey, she realized that allergies in children were a complex and ever-changing landscape. She knew that her children would face many more health challenges and uncertainties in the years to come, but she felt confident that she had the tools, knowledge, and support to help them thrive. With each passing day, Sophia felt more grateful for the small moments of joy and resilience that she and her family shared, and more determined to protect and cherish those moments for years to come. Question, how are allergies different in children? Allergies and travel. As an avid traveler, Sarah had always been fascinated by the idea of traveling to exotic locations and trying out new foods. However, as she grew older, she realized that her allergies may not allow her to indulge in all that she had hoped to experience. Sarah began researching extensively to learn more about the foods in different destinations around the world. She would look up the ingredients and recipes of local dishes to identify any potential allergens that she may need to be cautious of. She even went as far as reaching out to fellow travelers online to ask for advice and recommendations. Armed with her newfound knowledge, Sarah made sure to pack all the necessary medications to manage any allergic reactions that she may encounter. She also took the time to inform her travel companions about her allergies, just in case an emergency arose. Upon arriving at her destination, Sarah made sure to inform the accommodation providers about her allergies. This allowed the staff to take necessary precautions and ensure that her room was thoroughly cleaned and free of any allergens that may trigger her allergies. Despite her worries, Sarah soon found herself enjoying her trip to the fullest. She was pleasantly surprised to find a plethora of delicious options that were allergy-friendly. She tried out new dishes and even picked up some local ingredients to use in her own cooking back home. As her trip came to a close, Sarah reflected on her experience and realized that traveling with allergies was not as daunting as she had initially perceived. With proper planning and preparation, it was possible to travel to new destinations and try out all the amazing foods that the world had to offer. With countless memories, and a newfound sense of confidence, Sarah left her destination with a sense of accomplishment.
she had conquered her fears and proved to herself that her allergies would not hold her back in her travels. Looking back, Sarah was grateful for the experience as it had taught her a valuable lesson to never let her allergies limit her in any way. She vowed to continue traveling and exploring, armed with the knowledge and confidence gained from her latest adventure. As Sarah returned home, she couldn't he help but smile at the thought of all the amazing destinations she had yet to explore and all the delicious cuisine that awaited her. The world was truly her oyster, and with her allergies managed, there was nothing that would stop her from seeing it all. Question how